Welcome back for another art and science activity today. We're going to be making pinwheels. So inside of your distance learning kit, you should have a piece of cardstock that is green like this and a little bag attached to it that has a straw and a fastener inside of it. And we're going to be using all of those. And for this activity, you're also going to need to use a hole punch. You are also going to need some scissors for mom and dad to use. And kids can use some markers if they want to color and decorate their pinwheel before we put it all together. So what we're going to do first, moms and dads are going to have to help you. So we're going to start with our paper first. And we need to fold it over. But we're not going to fold it all the way over. We're going to leave a little bit of a space around the edge. We're going to push it down nice and flat. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us a nice square when we open our paper back up. After you have folded it, now you're going to cut out that triangle piece. Moms or dads can do it, or if you think you can do it, you can try and cut it out yourself. When you're done cutting it out, you should have a triangle like this. Now I want you to fold it in half again. So you're going to fold it right down the middle to make an even smaller triangle. Do you see my triangle? Now it got smaller. After you make that fold line, all you're going to do is open it right back up and you're going to get your scissors again and you're going to cut right down the point of your triangle, not all the way, just a little bit. Not all the way. I left some at the top that I didn't cut. Now we need, are going to need to cut the other two sides. So I want you to open up your big paper and we're going to fold it back the other way. So now my cut pieces are on the sides and I have my nice triangle right in the middle. And we're going to cut, same as we did before, right down the middle. But not all the way. Remember to leave a little bit at the end. Now go ahead and open up your paper and you should have your square with little cuts on each corner. So after we have done all of our cuts, we're gonna use our hole punch tool to make some holes in our little triangle pieces. And what we're gonna wanna do is each of our triangles is gonna get one punched hole in the same side all the way around. So I put dots on mine so you could see where you need to put the holes. One up here, one on this triangle, one on that triangle, and then the bottom down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my hole punch to punch my holes. Whoops, I kinda missed that one, but it's okay, it's close enough. Now I have my holes, and we're gonna make one more hole right in the middle. We're not gonna use our hole punch this time. This time I'm gonna use my scissors to just poke a little hole right in the center. After we poke this hole, then you can let your child color and decorate your, their pinwheel. So I got a teeny tiny hole in there. It does not have to be very big. So don't shove your whole scissor through or you're gonna rip your pinwheel. Now parents, you're gonna to have to poke a hole in your child's straw for them. So I decorated mine. And I poked the hole in my straw. I did my hole on the bendy part of my straw so I can move my pinwheel around. So now we're going to put together our pinwheel. So we're going to grab all of the four corners that we punched our holes in and we're going to bring them over the hole that we made in the center. Once we have them all together, you're going to be putting your little tiny brad piece, your little tiny fastener into the holes and through the straw to put it together. So let's put ours together right now. The easiest way to put your pinwheel together now is to take your fastener and you're gonna put it in the hole that you made in the middle of your pinwheel paper. Just like that. Now you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna work on putting your holes right over your fastener. So I have one on there Now all my pieces have been connected to my fastener. Now the last thing I need to put on there is my straw. So we poked a hole in our straw. Now we're going to push our fastener through that hole. 
And then you can open the brackets up to hold it into place. Now you can decorate your garden with your pinwheel.